Where's the party at? On Friday nights in the ATL, right here, 11.50. I'm Mikey Post, and I'm gonna take you around the club and show you what it's all about. I am here with resident DJ, Jay Love. Um, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, what people can expect when they come here to 11.50. Uh, well, uh... I DJ here on Fridays and Saturdays with uh, my partner Kevin O. Um, Friday night is um, is sponsored by Q100, one of Atlanta's uh, big radio stations. Um, in the main room is high energy dance music, house music, techno, and whatnot. And uh, Kevin and I on Fridays we play in the back. We uh, uh, we start out with like some down tempo kind of acid jazz type stuff, and then we move into like old school, old school hip hop and uh, current hip hop stuff on Fridays. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, Eden? What is that all about? Eden is the um, outside uh, area of 1150. Very, very nice. There's reflecting pools and waterfalls and and a, a lot of foliage and uh, and private cabanas and tables. Uh, it's, it's very, very nice. Uh, they remodeled it last year and uh, it's a beautiful place to spend uh, spring and summer nights in, in Midtown. It's, it's, it's a great, great area. We are here with another resident DJ, Kevin O. Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what kind of music you spin here? Well, on Friday nights, we like to stick to a uh, down tempo and a little hip hop. Um, not the mainstream hip hop, kind of like more like the B-sides, like um, not stuff that you'd hear on the radio. We try to stay away from that, but play still good quality uh, beats. And we seem to have a nice crowd to stick around. They, they like it. And can you tell us a little bit about the gallery and the VIP? Yeah, absolutely. The gallery is a really cool space. Um, they have us set up in like this little uh, bird nest. Uh, we play and it's uh, more of a chill out lounge. We kind of stick to lounge music because people on the inside, when they go to that main floor, they'll get a, you know, they'll, they'll get their heavy dose of dance music. They come to the back to get a drink to chill out. And the VIP area is great as well. If you uh, want to take a significant other up there, so a group of friends, you can go up there and chill, get away from everything. You got your own little uh, drink uh, person that will come take care of you. And uh, it, it's really cool up there. You know, you can get away from everything, and then if you decide you want to dive back into it, you know, you have that option as well. I am here with DJ Rachel. She's a DJ and director of operations here at 1150. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Sure. Well, uh, it's nice to have a lady in front, and I mostly accommodate all the VIP requests, all of our regular guests, VIP booth reservations, um, some of the bookings for the DJs outside, overall operations during the day and during the night, oversee the floor, make sure there's good music and a good sexy vibe at all times. Sums it up. This sounds like a fun job. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about the, the promoters here? Sure. We actually work with two uh, very specialized promoters, and like Flynn for Friday nights, which is responsible for the hottest party in Midtown on Fridays, really the only place to go. Um, they bring a great, real mainstream, but real fun, upbeat, dance-orientated crowd. And um, on Saturday nights, we usually work with Liquefied. They're responsible for bringing most of the international DJ talent in from around the world, from Sasha, Digweed, Georgia Costa, some of the big names. And uh, we run mostly uh, like an underground vibe, but a very busy one on Saturday nights. Here with David, the lighting guy here at 1150. Uh, most people don't really think about lights too much in a club, so what exactly do you do? Basically what I do is I uh, try to enhance the experience. Basically when you hear songs, what I try to do is just, how can I put it, um, go along with it so that it's it just adds to the experience. Basically like certain point in the music, you know, people might get to a certain level and I'll just do what I can to bring it up even higher so people aren't just like going whoo, they're pumping their hands in the air. Woo! There you have it. So next time you're in an ATL on a Friday night, you know where to go, 1150.